So we're going to start. Our number one is going to be our cup all the way up here. So feel free to do this along with me. I'm going to start by sketching the bottom of my cylinder. Notice how I mentioned each project builds on the previous one. If you'll notice, if I was to draw a little X here or a T, see how it's symmetrical? All four quadrants are the same. Using those previous skills, guys. Next, I'm going to kind of take this guideline, again lightly, draw it up, just kind of eyeball it. Top of our cylinder is a curve, above our eye level is a frown. Notice how this guideline kind of helps make sure that it's symmetrical. And we have, do you see that cylinder? Take a look. Oof. So take a look at me, cup I'm holding in the air, and then take a look at the presentation screen. Do they look similar? There we go. Now we're going to bring it down just above our heads. So tell me what's happening to this bottom. Keep your eye fixated on the bottom. What's happening? as I bring it closer to my head. Yes, you're seeing less of it. So this time, when we sketch the bottom of our cylinder, as it gets closer to the top of our head, top or to our little dude, we're, we're gonna be sketching a smaller cylinder. Nope, a smaller bottom. I'm going to add that guideline to help me make sure it's symmetrical. One thing, one thing I want to mention as we start to move forward with sketching in this class, um, notice how when I sketch, I'm doing these kind of like tiny little marks that I'm adjusting as I go. Okay, don't just put the pencil down and draw a line. You want to kind of just touch tiny little marks, and that way I can adjust the shape and also kind of make smaller adjustments to make sure it's as symmetrical as possible. As the curve, as this top curve, this is the top of our cylinder. So now we have the bottom, but we need to add a top. The top is a curve above our eye level, so it's a frown. But as that curve gets closer to our eye level, it starts to straighten out. So this, I'd say this is like, this, this curve, this number one has had a pretty bad day, and it's a pretty, pretty sad frown. Number two, it's had like an okay day. Maybe it like spilled its coffee in the morning, you know, it's like. So it's, it's not straight, but it's less dramatic than number one. So I'm looking, what I'm looking for when I grade these is that there's a significant difference from one to two, both for the tops and the bottoms. I'm also going to be looking to make sure that the curves are facing the right direction. And that all the curves are symmetrical. The last cylinder we're going to do before break is our eye level cylinder. And if you feel so inclined, you're welcome to do numbers four and five on your own. Okay, just remember the logic of it. As the cylinder goes down, what do we start to see? The bottom, very, no, as the cylinder goes down, the top. Yeah, the top. So, as the cylinder goes down, notice how we start to see the top of the cylinder. But at eye level, so notice how I'm holding the cylinder now, right at my eye level, literally at my eyeball. Can we can't, notice how this here, it looks like a little, like the babiest of frowns. This guy is the babiest of smiles. At the eye level, we can't see into the cylinder or below the cylinder, but we do see a tiny curve.
sometimes it helps to add that center guideline if we're struggling with that. Keep that symmetry correct. Now, at this point in the project, you are welcome to kind of do numbers four and five on your own. Feel free to go forth and be free. Um, during break, because we have about three minutes left, I'm just going to kind of keep doing number four and five if you want to do them together with me. But if you feel comfortable doing them on your own, you're welcome to do so. After break, we're going to talk about how to shade these guys. It's a video that you watch kind of at your leisure. But I will let you know, for the shading, you're going to need all three of those graphite pencils and an eraser. So if you want to, it might behoove you to grab those things when we're on break. For the rest of class, because at this point, everybody's going to kind of work at their own pace. Um, what the, so if we all head on over. For the rest of class, we watched a video on how to shade our cylinders. This video can be found on our Power School page. So please feel free to watch this once you have sketched all your cylinders. I highly recommend checking in with me to make sure your sketch is correct before you begin shading. Good luck, and feel free to email me if you have any questions.